Do you want a 4th of July dessert that's quick and easy to put together and creamy, delicious? Well, today I'm making a lemon whipped ricotta dessert. And in that, we have a layer of granola first, then we're gonna top it with our whipped ricotta. And then we're gonna finish it off with some graham cracker crumbles and some strawberries and blueberries for that 4th of July festive look. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, I'd like to start off here with chef joke number one, and we'll have number two a little bit later. All right, here we go. What is a math teacher's favorite dessert? Pie. All right, we're gonna start off here making our lemon whipped ricotta. Okay, so I've got my ricotta cheese here, and you want to use a full fat like you see right here. It's nice and creamy and smooth, and you're gonna get the best results, so don't use low fat. Now the ricotta cheese is going to cut back on some of the fat, and it's also gonna add some texture, some, some um, thickness to our whip, and we're, you're gonna love that. It's gonna be nice and creamy. So you can see here that the calories are pretty low in the ricotta, and the fat is fairly low too, so it helps cut back a little bit. Now to that, I'm gonna add an equal amount of heavy whipping cream. Now I'm using organic here and I love the ingredients. When you read them, you'll see that it just contains cream and that's really what I wanna have in my dessert. Next up, we're gonna use some vanilla extract. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. You can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Click down there and you'll find it. Next, we're gonna add some honey. Another alternative to the honey would be uh, maple syrup or even you know just regular sugar if you wanted to but I'm trying to keep it healthier and that's why I'm using the honey. You can play around with the amount of honey that you want to use in this recipe but I would start off with at least two tablespoons and work your way up to three and possibly even four. Now the next ingredient we're going to add is the lemon juice. This is fresh lemon juice. I keep mine in the freezer. I always have it ready to go so I'm going to put some of this in there and you can play with this ingredient as well as to how much lemon you like. I would use anywhere from two tablespoons up to possibly even four tablespoons, depending on your taste. And just a tiny little pinch of salt. And then we're gonna take a hand mixer and put it on low and just beat it up for a few minutes. So whip this up just like you would whipping cream for about, you know, three or four minutes or until it gets nice and stiff. So once your mixture firms up like this, then you're gonna add some lemon zest. So you can either zest a lemon right into it, or like I do, I have mine frozen. I keep it that way and I just pull out what I need and I sprinkle it in. Then you're gonna to wanna to fold this in with a spatula and not use the electric beaters because it will just stick to them and not get in your dish. I'm gonna place our mixture into a smaller dish so it can go in the refrigerator and chill for you know about an hour. You can see how creamy and delicious this looks and make sure you cover it before you put it in the fridge. All right, it must be time for chef joke number two. What dessert is perfect for eating in bed? A sheet cake. Okay, so the next thing you wanna prepare, well, first off, let me mention, I've got some blueberries here that are already been rinsed and some strawberries. Uh, these are organic. And now for our graham cracker crumbles. I'm using Mary's Gone Cookies. These are uh, graham crackers that are gluten-free that are, have a cinnamon flavor to them, and they're really good. And I also wanna mention another brand, Simple Mills here, that you could also use that's also very good, just like Mary's Gone Cookies if you can't find them. So you wanna place some graham crackers into a Ziploc bag, seal it up, and then pound it with whatever you have. It could be a rolling pin or a meat tenderizer. Don't smash them super fine, but leave them a little bit chunky. You can serve this up in any dish you like. I like using glass because they can see the layers. And here I have a glass mug. And on the left there, I have a glass ramekin. So before we put this thing together, I wanna to just show you the granola that I'm using. This stuff is really good, not too sweet, and it's got some good ingredients. All right, first we're gonna start off with a little granola in the bottom of our dish. Then we add the cream. And we'll toss in a few berries. Do them however you want, you know, just place them however you see fit. And then with the strawberries, like I said, we have to cut them up. So I'll take out the stem 
And I'll just maybe slice them. You can do how, however you want. And then we finish it off with those graham cracker crumbles. All right, I think it's time for a taste. Oh man, is this delicious. You've got that creamy, lemony cream going on there with the crunch of the granola and the graham crackers, and then you've got the fruit flavor to finish it off. It is absolutely delicious. Now, if you like strawberries, you might want to check out my other 4th of July recipe, chocolate covered strawberries, which are red, white, and blue. All right, I'll leave a link for you here on the screen. Click that and it'll take you right to it and you can make those as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button for me and leave me a comment. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when my new videos come out every week. Thanks again, and we'll see you back here next week for another Rockin' Recipe.